tomorrow. And the big flyby. And the big flyby yeah. on, on River Street. Planes are still out at the airport, too. Right. Well, uh, we, I'm wasting too much time uh -oh. here. Three minutes after <laughs> 6 o'clock, we'll have time to talk as the hour goes by. What's the weather for the All weekend? All right. Let's take a look at the forecast for today. It is a not too bad out there right now. 63 degrees is what we're headed for for the high temperature. It's about 52 right now. Decreasing clouds and warmer weather. Yeah, right back up in the 60s and some sunshine by this afternoon, Bo. Looks good, James. Thank you. Well, Savannah police have a suspect in custody at this hour who may be responsible for a shooting that occurred over a month ago. Just after 1.45 this morning, police arrested 20-year-old John Roundtree. He was driving a stolen car, according to police. They told WSAV that they were tipped off by a phone call saying Roundtree was in the Savannah area. The car he was in has Florida license plates. Police say they have been looking for Roundtree for over a month. And the last fugitive wanted in connection with the Ricky Jivens drug ring has been arrested after federal authorities received a tip. Freddie Jumbo Hull was apprehended in Atlanta yesterday. Hull faces federal drug conspiracy and weapons charges, among others, in Savannah. A number of his associates were recently convicted in federal court on a number of charges related to drug trafficking here in Savannah. An 18-year-old Savannah man was hospitalized after a shooting yesterday afternoon. According to Savannah Police, 18-year-old Stacy Jones was shot in the hand and both legs in the area of 57th and Bull Streets. The incidents occurred around 2.30. No arrests so far at this time. Police are searching for suspects who they say were uh, driving a dark blue automobile that was traveling on 57th Street at the time. Jones was taken to Memorial Medical Center and admitted in fair condition. And shortly before that, police were busy working another armed robbery at a Savannah business. Detectives say a short black man walked into the TMD Loan Company on East Broughton Street, showed a 35 caliber pistol, and demanded cash. He got away with an undisclosed amount. Police are still looking for him. He was wearing a dark-colored hooded sweatshirt and was last spotted headed east on Broughton Street. Police within Chatham County now have some restrictions placed on how they can and why they can patrol. They must now be accompanied by a sheriff's deputy or a county police officer if working outside their jurisdiction in the county. On the advice of the county attorney, Sheriff Walter Mitchell has revoked deputy status of over 100 officers. The move is not expected to have a great impact on public there, there safety. There will be a great effect on our daily operations. There will be some limited problems that I think that we may face and we'll have to deal with. I am the sheriff of this county, and if somebody at Tybee needs to be arrested in Pula, I'll send my personnel out there to make that arrest for them. Mitchell believes the liability question for police can be worked out between attorneys for the seven municipalities and Chatham County. For the second night in a row, members of the community met to help find solutions to Savannah's growing crime problem. More than a dozen officials and residents took part in the second night of the three-night crime summit. Taking part in last night's meeting held at the Mall Library included Savannah Police Chief David Gallatly, a drug enforcement agency official, and members of the Citizens Crime Commission, among others. The participants discussed several of the city's accomplishments, like the arrest and conviction of members of the Ricky Jivens drug gang. But many said such much more needs to be done to help make Savannah Street safer. And Savannah Mayor Susan Weiner is in the process of putting her administration together, and she's seeking input from the public. At City Hall, Weiner announced the people who will chair 16 citizens' issues groups. The groups will prepare reports for the mayor and aldermen. That will be ready in three months in some reform. They will not make any recommendations. And after she receives advice from the public, Mayor Weiner will be asked to help out in the effort to get President Bush re-elected. Weiner has been named to George Bush's re-election campaign in the state of Georgia. She will be one of six Georgians on the re-election committee whose goal will be to encourage broad-based support statewide. Wendy? All right, thank you, Bo. It's uh, about 7 now after 6 o'clock in the morning here on, uh, on Friday morning, the 31st of January. It's 1992, and I have two of these now. That means I think <laughs> they've made a big mistake, and I'm going to not have one when I move across the room. Remind me, will you? How is it like to get this. back up early in the morning? It was great. I slept two hours last night. I'm more awake now than I've been in uh, <laughs> two weeks and, four day and, nine and uh, five days. Six days. I can't add or subtract this time of day. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. And math can be tough at six in the morning. It can be. It can be.